Okay, <coughs> well, this uh, sound setup is getting to be a pain. <coughs> Hang on. I usually don't have trouble with my sound. I don't usually have trouble with the, uh, um, you know, my, the SM58, which I'm talking on right now, going through the V amp. And let's see. I do have just, see, these are my different settings I have on here. And, uh, they are not, you know, this, this, this. A is the one I use for talking on all the time. B, I set up in case I wanted to sing. C, I actually set up to record the cassette into, you know, digitize the cassette. D and E are just set up to make funny voices. And, um, yeah, everything still looks good. You know, my, uh, it, it always remembers the preset. Um, let's see, can you see? You see, I don't think you can't see that blinking down there, but that tamp light is blinking because that one. You pass. I forget. I forget to see how to do it. I forget how to do it all the time, but I don't, probably couldn't understand me. The one that I was on a sec before that, before A, which is the one I use for talking. Uh, that tap light is blinking because you hit that. There's several different functions that it can do, but and uh, it's still blinking because I forgot how to get out of it and I didn't want to mess with it because it was not a. A setting that I use all the time anyway but um, uh, just like this see I, I'm on my th third or fourth video here fourth one now trying to set up the sound and whether I make a video or not it still takes uh, you know this is how much time it takes to set things up when you start having <laughs> start fiddling with everything and so you know it would take a long time to mess with that getting that tap fill tap light off and I just haven't messed with it but um I still was hearing that little telltale uh, low end rumble on the uh, SM58. Let me get back on the desktop so you can see. Uh, well, actually, I'll do what I was did a while ago. Let's see, one in desktop, right? Yeah, now you can see me and the uh, desktop. Um, I just realized where I have that on the screen that may yeah where I have that on the screen it makes it end up going on oh no I'm not as long as long as I'm on not as long as I'm on the screen okay so um, can tell yeah as long as you stay within the screen parameters you're good okay um, Oh, I see. <laughs> I saw an extra uh, input that had no selections on the tracks. So I was like, what? What's wrong with that? But that's a video. You, there's no audio going to ever be on the video stream. Okay, so it's it's in this scene. I haven't. I was just using straight desktop. But the reason I've got this <coughs> the way I do now is because I'm going to... Uh, first, I'm going to listen to it again, but I heard that low-end rumble back on the SM58. So, oh, let's try Turn the volume down so I won't get the high-end feedback. Turn the desktop off so that uh, it won't get as much echo. It still gets some going back through the mic, but if I just have it just loud enough for me to hear it, then it's not as bad. I've got to have it up enough I can actually hear it so I can use this to adjust. Now, um, still may have the gain higher than it should be because it's not where I used to keep it for, I don't know, ever since I had the board, really. Just recently, I... Felt it's it wouldn't work right unless I turned it up, but at least I thought that. Come on, turn it down a little bit. Let me get over there. Can't move this mic. Okay, if I mute it, I can. Turn on the lapel off that monitor. I don't know what kind of noise I'll be getting even with it mic muted. Who knows? Okay, now I'm gonna. Yeah, I ended up. Putting it pretty much, I'm going to put it back where I always used to keep it on the, you know, I use, I figured out where I wanted it and then I, you know, in case my, I accidentally bumped the knobs, I would just put them back where I visually had marked in my head, you know, where they go. So let's see if that works now. Because that Owen rumble tells me that either the gain or the channel has turned up too much and the channel is well i've been turning the channel down and it didn't 
bring the desired effect. So, uh, anyway. I've been fiddling with it back and forth without actually taking the time to listen and make, you know, like I'm doing now. And I haven't, it's just gotten from one problem to a different problem, you know. So, and uh, I don't, uh, well, I didn't really notice it in the pre last few videos, but today I did. And I was just going to do, all I was doing was my quick test. Let's go ahead and get back, back on, on the it. SR58. I was just doing my quick test. It turned out to not be a quick test. And I'm keeping having to fool with it for a couple hours now. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Hello, check, check. Hello, check, check. Hello, check. All right, now. Um, turn on both, both mics, mics and see, see if there's... Hello, hello check. check. Well, they, they still, still look, look like they're, they're about the same, same volume, volume level. level. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try listening, listening to both, both of them. them. Make people, hello, hello, check, check. 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 Hey, hey, check, check one, one two. That's, That's weird because it seems like it cut down on the, to, me, to me what, what I, hear I hear over my speaker. speaker. It seems like, like it cut down on the uh, echo. Turn both of those on. on. I think it's just probably some odd uh, property of uh, you know, audio, audio in the air, you know, analog, analog audio, audio in the air. Let's see. So turn off the SM58, and here's the lapel mic all by itself. And I believe I found as good as I'm going to get on the ga noise gate for it. Uh, it's cutting it, cutting most of that noise that I'm getting, little crackly noises and stuff. It just makes more noise. Well, I haven't tried it out plugged into the computer, uh, you know, mic, the built-in uh, sound card, you know, sound chips. This lapel I haven't, but others I have, and they generally are louder. Sometimes, usually they're too loud to use. They're too much noise to use. Uh, so, so perhaps this little sound USB sound card is better than the one inside the computer. Um, let me look at the level, levels, levels again. again. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're so, so close, close to the, the same. same. And and that's that's the, one, one of the main things I want is the volume levels of both mics to be, you know, close, really close, close as I can get it. I'd like them to be perceivably the same, you know. <clears throat> uh, so uh, when you listen, so um, let's go see how that does. Um, yeah, here they, they are again. again. You, can you can see the, the signals. signals see the, the, media, media, the black, black little black line. line they're, they're, they're dancing, dancing around, around pretty close, close to each other. other. The, the peaks, peaks are pretty close. close. Actually, Actually, it looks, looks like, like the uh, SM58 may, may be below, be below the hell mic now, now, which you would, would expect. Since I just backed off on the gain on the... The gain makes the biggest difference for the smallest change than the than the line... Uh, adjustment. The, we always we always call it the slider, and this is not no sliders on this board, but that's still what comes into my head. <clears throat> it just says level on there, so uh, which I think is probably what most of my boards say. But uh, and it says gain on the gain knob, which usually are knobs. <clears throat> okay, so um, let me turn that. Hello. Oh, okay, okay, so, so it, it looks, looks to me, me like. like the, the SM58 is noticeably behind the. Uh, turn that advanced properties back on so I can listen again. Let's see. Okay. Hello, check, check one, two, check one, two. Hello, check. Hello, check, check one, two, check one, two. Hello, check, check one, two, check one, two. Let's turn both of those. Okay, now I can do it quicker. Check one, two, check, check one, one two, two, check one, two, check one, two. Hello, check. Hello, check. They sound about the same to me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, get rid of those. You don't want those in your recording. They will ruin your recording. And they don't want to leave the desktop audio off because then when you play anything on the desktop, it won't work. You won't hear it. So now, and I want the... Uh, there's no audio coming out of cam one, so I want that muted just to make sure we don't get any noise. You shouldn't, but... <clears throat> well, I want to keep it muted unless I'm using it because... 
if I do plug in the lapel into it and turn the audio on, I don't want it to be on along with the SM58 and me not realize it. That's so. If you're not using them, keep them muted. That's the best thing to do. Okay, because you'll forget. <clears throat> I will, that's for sure. Um, I was going, I was thinking about adjusting the volume a little bit on the lapel. I guess I won't know till I listen back to this one again. That's all I can do because I can't tell with, there's just too much reverb, you know, with the speaker. It keeps going through my mic and uh, too much reverb trying to check it that way. So, uh, and this, and I had, it even sounds more amplified when I put on my headphones the other day. So I couldn't even use them. I could only use the speakers. So I just remembered that. I was saying when I first started this and I was being lazy not putting on my headphones. So I just remembered they don't work in this situation. So. Yeah, okay, all the monitors are off. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and uh, listen back. If it's good, I'll leave it, and if it's not, I'll, I'll probably end up backing down on the, uh, of course, unless I don't get what I expect on the SM58, but uh, what I'm thinking is I might have to back down on the lapel mic a little bit, and it might help that noise that I'm getting, that little staticky noise. At least make it a little quieter. All right.